Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the 9G notes on graphs of quadratic functions. At the end of this, you should be able to say that I can change a quadratic function into vertex form and graph it. All right, so let's start with vertex form. Okay, y equals a times parentheses x minus h squared plus k is considered vertex form, and it actually helps you graph a quadratic by finding the vertex and then you can find other points from that. Alright, so with that, the A and the H and the K all have specific um, values in here. So um, H, K would be the vertex. So once you find the H and the K in here, that's your actual vertex. That's why they call this vertex form. Um, a is the, I call it the slope. It's not truly the slope to the next point because it's a curved graph, but it's basically how you get to the next point um, from the vertex. So the next point up and to the right and to the left. And if it's negative, it would be down and to the right and down and to the left. Okay, H is the horizontal shift that you get. And then K is the vertical shift of the graph. All right. So let's take a look at a problem here. So example 23 from page 297 gives us sketch the graph of y equals negative x minus 2 squared minus 3 and state the vertex. So, <clears throat> excuse me, with that, um, honestly I think it's probably going to be easiest to talk about the vertex first since it's already in vertex form. So the vertex is and it's x minus h, so it's basically, it's the opposite of this number here. I usually try to think of it as what makes the parentheses equal to 0. So 2 minus 2 gives us 0, so the x value is 2. And then this is the vertical shift, which is the y value of the vertex. So that is your y value, so that would be negative 3. Alright, so vertex is at 2, negative 3. So go to graph. That is just a terrible graph. Let's try that again. It's a little better. Alright, so our vertex is at negative 2, 3. So let's do that. Oh, sorry, at 2, negative 3. So we're at 2, negative 3. There's our vertex. And then the next point is basically it's the a here. That's the slope to the next point. So really this is negative 1 and you always put whatever's here in um, over 1 even if it's a fraction. So negative 1 over 1 so that means we're going to go down 1 to the right one and down 1 to the left one. And then that is going to roughly be what our uh, parabola looks like. Alright? So that's one way you'll see it. And then another way you'll see it is like this here. Example 21 from page 295. Um, it says write the quadratic in y equals a times x minus h quantity squared uh, plus k form using completing the square and then sketch the graph and state the vertex. All right. So basically what you want to do here is you want to complete the square like we learned um, earlier out in chapter 8. All right, so first thing, let's move our 3 to the other side. And this one here, we're not actually looking for solutions, so we're not going to set y equal to 0. We're just going to leave y. So we have y minus 3 equals x squared plus 4x. Take half that middle term, and then we square that middle term, well, half the middle term. Um, and we get 4. And again, I usually like to circle the 2 because I know I'm going to end up using that later. So we have y minus 3. And then we have x squared plus 4x. And then we have to add the 4 to this side. And since we add 4 to this side, we also add 4 to the other side. So we end up with y plus 1 equals. And then this as a perfect square is going to be whatever... You'll remember, it's going to be whatever this number, half that middle term, half the b term, so that's plus 2 squared. And then instead now of solving for x, you just want to actually solve for y, so that we can have it in our vertex form, because vertex form is y equals, so we subtract 1 from both sides, and we get y 
equals x plus 2 squared minus 1. Okay, so the vertex is negative 2 plus 2 gives us 0, so it's negative 2, and then it's whatever this um, vertical shift is here, which is negative 1. Alright, so if we go off to graph this thing, we'll start at negative 2, negative 1, alright, and then from there, this is y equals 1x squared plus 4x plus 3, so I'm going to do 1 over 1. So the next point from here is up 1 to the right one, up 1 to the left one, and we have enough info there to sketch a graph. All right, so um, that's really all there is to this. So um, you should, after this now, be able to say that I can change a quadratic function, which is this here, into vertex form which is what we have here, um, and then we're able to graph it. All right, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks.